Hey what's up guys it's Fritch and welcome to another video. Today what you're going to be watching is a free for all on the map Strike Zone and this is probably my favourite map on the entire game. I think I've already uploaded a gameplay from this one but I do have a load of gameplays from different maps like um, Stonehaven surprisingly enough like that massive Warwick Castle-esque map. I've actually got a gameplay on that and I'm going to be talking about how you can play and uh, you know do the best that you can on that map because I think that it's it's a pretty difficult map to grasp but in this video what I'm going to be talking about is two of the best perks that you can use in free-for-all and look at this uh, gun by the way it's the chainsaw if you don't know what it is the first time I got it I thought it was some kind of map gun that you could just find in some rubble because I'm pretty sure you can do that in Battlefield 4 uh, you can find like a minigun in some rubble and I guess I got the two confused look at this death by the way this is inspirational stuff watch, watch this the strategy involved in this guy, this I, I just can't put it into words. I was just so shell-shocked from that. It was just incredible. Learned so much from that kill camp. But anyway, that is my only death of the entire game. And I'm using Specialist, which means that I could have potentially gone on to get the, the chem strike. And what was my score? I think I was... Was I 9? 9 or no? So that means I was on a 21 when the game ended. And of course, the game ended before I could actually get enough kills to get the chem. But anyway, the two perks that I would highly, highly recommend in free -for -all, the first one, and the most one, uh, the most important one in my opinion, is a perk called Wire Trap. Now this is a new perk to uh, Call of Duty Ghosts, and if you have no idea what it is, uh, it's basically a perk that allows you to utilise the enemy satcoms. Now a satcom is very similar to UAV, and in team game modes, uh, when you have one satcom down, it only shows up enemies on the radar that your teammates can see that are in your teammates line of sight so it's kind of average unless you have two down which is when it turns into UAV and then it becomes uh, the UAV that we've known from all the way back to Call of Duty 4 but in free for all if you put down a satcom just one satcom it acts as a UAV and if you have wire trap on you have seven enemies and even if one of them has a satcom down you've got a UAV so you can see right now I've got a UAV on even though I'm using specialist and it's helping me out so much and look at this by the way why is there a door on the floor that stops you from moving it's incredible and those two guys line up and the second perk that I would highly suggest using in free form is a perk called Amplify and uh, you can either swap this between Dead Silence or Amplify depending on whether or not you prefer to not be heard and be stealthy or you prefer to hear other players uh, around the map and uh, I guess you could use both if you like specialists as well which is what I'm doing uh, with perks like Sleight of Hand, Scavenger and uh, steady aim and things like that. I've honestly fell in love with specialists in this game uh, even though it's not as good as the one in Modern Warfare 3 it is still very very good if you know how to use it and there's a load of perks that are so useful in this game that I just can't you know justify using like an assault streak instead of the special strike package especially for this weapon. This weapon is a strange one if you haven't noticed already you can't zoom in all the way so you have to kind of just it kind of zooms in a little bit but it's still very similar to a heat fire so steady aim makes this uh, weapon incredible a uh, sleight of hand makes this weapon a lot better because obviously the reload on the light machine guns takes a very long time uh, scavenger obviously because you're going to run out of ammo and focus so there's a load of perks that you're going to need when you're running this class so honestly i don't think i'll ever use assault uh, the assault strike package when i'm using this weapon and look at this by the way I realised that someone called in a chem strike and I was like, oh crap, I need to get two kills before this is over. So I start rushing a little bit. I get one kill and I can hear this guy rushing in and I finish the game off just as the chem strike blows up for an epic uh, finale, I guess. So hopefully you guys have enjoyed this video. If you have, be sure to leave me a like rating and I've been considering doing a Road to Commander on Ghost as well over the next few days. So if you want to see that, be sure to leave a comment. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. I'll speak to you all tomorrow with another Ghost video. Bye.